When working with large-scale assemblies, a useful new tool called walkthroughs has been added to let you visually explore the environment and output a video to use as presentation material. Previously, you would have had to use the Motion Manager to create an animation like this, but you can now use a simple tool to create a walkthrough to explore your systems from a first-person perspective view. You can save what you see to play back later or share with clients. To start a walkthrough, go to View, Lights, and Cameras, then select Add Walkthrough, or from the Display Manager, click on the Scenes, Lights, and Cameras section. Then right-click on Walkthroughs and select Add Walkthrough. This brings up the Walkthrough Property Manager. The first thing I'll do here is set the plane for the vertical direction, which by default is the top plane. Next, I can specify the viewing height. Now, this is the offset distance from the plane where the camera will be set. With the plane and offset specified, I can now set motion constraints or paths for motion. I can do this using the properties here, but instead, I'd like to manually control the motion of the avatar, so I'll leave this section blank. Finally, I'll click Capture Walkthrough, and you can see I'm put in a first-person perspective. There's also a message telling me to move to the starting location. You can move the avatar to the location you'd like by using the arrows and left mouse button. When you're ready to create the walkthrough, click OK to close the message and move your avatar by using the arrow keys and left mouse button. Click and drag the left mouse button to rotate the camera and use the arrow keys to move the position. If you've ever played a first-person video game on a computer, you should be familiar with this sort of movement, and this is an easy way to create the walkthrough. If not, you can always draw out a path to set its constraints. It can also be helpful to use the map view, which gives you an overhead view of your avatar to help guide the route. Once in place, hit the record button and begin your walkthrough. You can use the pause button to pause the capture and when you're finished, click the green check. You will immediately be brought back to the property manager where you can select to play back the walkthrough or generate and save a video. I recommend playing back your video first to be sure it was done correctly. Finally, click the button to generate the video where you can save an AVI. At the bottom of the dialog box, you have options to set the output image size and frame rate. Give it a name, click Save, and the walkthrough is complete.